Do you want to add it like this on controller? All you gotta do is like, subscribe, and comment. Comment if any of these tips help you if you never knew them before, but yeah, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna go over everything. This video will be timestamped too, so if you don't wanna wa watch through the whole video, I'll be timestamping the video, so just scroll through and see what, you know, what helps you, or you could watch the whole video if you're a real supporter, you know, man, but if y'all like this video, just let me know if y'all want a part two or if y'all want another part of me explaining anything I didn't go over in this video. But yeah, y'all enjoy the video, man. The first thing I want to go over is one of my most asked questions. What controller do you use? I use a regular PlayStation 4 controller with a strike pack paddles. If you don't know what a strike pack paddles, I'm going to show you on the screen. But only thing I really do with my paddles is only jump with paddles because I've been used to jumping with paddles for years. So... I might as well just stay on it, but I play paddles and claw. Claw to edit though. I use triangle edit. I play on a regular PS4 controller. I use triangle edit, L2 confirm, and R1 reset. And also use L3 switch mode. I would suggest you move around your binds to where it's comfortable, where you don't have to take your hands off none of your stick or none of that. But yeah, those are my binds. They're pretty simple. And as you see on the bottom right, or you've seen, you seen that my controller I play on is a regular PS4 controller with just attachments to it. But yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get right into the next thing I want to talk about. Uh, I want to go over a thing that I don't really see a lot of people talk about is why you should really use confirm it on release. Like they go over it, but they don't explain why. I'm gonna explain why I use it, and it's gonna make a lot of sense to y'all, but. For my swipe edits, I don't confirm those with my regular binds. Like I get my finger ready to place my builds, if that makes sense. But for so for this, I confirm this with confirm edit on release and my regular binds. But same thing for these two edits. But when it comes to this wall edit, I confirm that only with confirm edit on release. For the simple fact, when I get out of this, I could get ready for the next quad edit and go straight up to place in my cone and then just go straight back up and just repeat that same process. It'd be faster for me because, like, I don't want to have to take my hand off L1, which is to place my cones, to get ready, put it on L2 to confirm that wall edit. Because by the time I'm done confirming that wall edit, it's going to take too much time. So if I just confirm that we'll confirm it on release and get ready to place the next cone, it makes your quad edit way faster. I don't know. If, let me know if that makes sense to y'all in the comment section, though, man. Another thing I see a lot of people talk about is how to get rid of your input delay. You could not get rid of input delay. Let me tell you that first of all. You could reduce your input delay, but you cannot get rid of it. That's one thing that I know for a fact. Your input delay stays no matter what, no matter what you do. So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you a couple ways on console and PC how to reduce your input delay and make a game feel way smoother than it normally would feel. Actually, I want to talk about two steps on PC. First is this NVIDIA control panel trick that I learned over time of me just being on PC. Load up your NVIDIA control panel by right clicking on your desktop. Go to NVIDIA control panel. You want to change it from use the advanced 3D image to you. You want to change that to use my preference. You just put it on your preference and then all you got to do is going to be in balance at first. But you change it from balance to performance and click apply. That's that's just a simple step right there. But I'm going to show you the other step on PC, which is pretty much it's the same thing like putting your game in performance, but it's easier. It's easy and quick step. All right. For the next step, you want to load up. You want to load up. Your, for the next step, you want to load up your settings and go to graphics. Search up graphics. You're going to find your graphics settings, right? When you first get on your graphics and it's going to be a Microsoft stored apps. You want to change it from that to desktop apps. You see all my Fortnite right here, all of them is on high performance. You click options and put it on high performance and click save. The way to find that is you have to browse, search for your Fortnite folders. Like you could look up here too, but this is just where mine's at. But you could go to Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, win64, and then find all your Fortnite launchers, Fortnite game, all that. Put all of them one by one. You got to click them. Double tap that one by one. It's going to add it like this. You click options click save that's literally it smash simple like you just add those your game will feel way way smoother than it feels and it will look smoother too but 
yeah it's just a simple step for pc yeah let me know if this helped as i said before you know it's just what i do and i'm just telling y'all what i do all right for consoles there's only two things i can i can know that like will help reduce your input delay it won't get rid of it but it will help first thing i want to say you go to audio and go to options on the subtitles and turn everything to the left turning everything to the left make sure subtitles is off all that turn it all to the left and the next thing is go to controller switch mode slash edit i know a lot of people have been talking about this for a while since it's been out but switch mode slash edit then you got a uh, controller settings back then you want to turn your edit whole time all the way max another thing too i think really helps is foot control you can feel the big differences play around with it in creative these three things that i told you you'll feel the big difference in foot control i don't know what it does but i just know my controller feels like more responsive when i use it foot controller but yeah those are the only things i could really think for console because console itself is really delayed but yeah if you made it to the end or this far comment 4k in the comment section so i can know i'm really close to 4k subscribers and i'm gonna be getting back on my grind i'm gonna be posting more i'm gonna try at least you know because fortnite is ass but i'm gonna try to post more and get more videos out so comment 4k in the comment section i'm gonna see who really supports my videos man so y'all have a great day